What if I told you that happiness isn't just an emotion, but a science that you can master? Yes, you heard it right. Happiness is not only about fleeting moments of joy or laughter. It's a deep-seated sense of contentment and satisfaction with life. And the fascinating part, there's a science behind it. Understanding this science can be the key to improving your mood, well-being, and overall life satisfaction. Today we delve into the science of happiness and uncover eight proven ways to boost your mood and well-being. And the first strategy to boost your happiness is cultivating gratitude. Now, what do we mean by gratitude? It's about recognizing and appreciating the good things in your life, no matter how small. This simple attitude adjustment can have a profound impact on your overall happiness levels. You see, gratitude works wonders because it shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that's already present. It's a celebration of the goodness in our lives and helps us connect with something larger than ourselves. Whether it's nature, people or higher powers, gratitude helps us feel more positive emotions, relish good experiences and build strong relationships. Scientific studies have shown that people who practice gratitude regularly exhibit higher levels of happiness and satisfaction. They tend to be more optimistic, less materialistic, and have a greater sense of life purpose. So remember, the first step to a happier life is to appreciate what you already have. The second method to increase your happiness is fostering strong relationships. A sense of connection and belonging is a fundamental human need, deeply rooted in our evolutionary history. But it's not just about having a lot of friends. It's about having deep, meaningful relationships with people who understand and appreciate you and whom you understand and appreciate in return. These relationships built on mutual respect, love and support serve as a safety net, helping us navigate life's ups and downs. They provide us with companionship, reduce feelings of loneliness and contribute to our sense of self-worth. They can even impact our physical health, with research showing that strong social connections can lead to a 50% increased chance of longevity. Moreover, these relationships don't just make us feel good in the moment, they provide us with lasting happiness, enriching our lives in ways that material possessions simply can't match. Therefore, nurturing your relationships can significantly elevate your happiness levels. The third tactic to boost your mood is engaging in regular exercise. Now, you might be wondering, how does moving around and getting sweaty contribute to my happiness? Well, it all comes down to the science of our bodies. When we exercise, our body releases chemicals called endorphins, Often referred to as the feel-good hormones, endorphins interact with the receptors in our brain, reducing our perception of pain and delivering a positive feeling, similar to that of morphine. Regular physical activity also stimulates the production of serotonin, another hormone that helps regulate our mood, sleep and appetite. Studies have shown that consistent exercise can alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety, leading to improved mental health and well-being. So whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a yoga session, or an intense workout, don't underestimate the power of exercise. So regular exercise isn't just for your physical health, but for your happiness too. The fourth technique to elevate your happiness is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness at its core is a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment. It's about letting go of the past and future and immersing yourself fully in the now, relishing the sights, sounds, and sensations around you. This act of being present has been scientifically linked to elevated levels of happiness. When we engage in mindfulness, we open ourselves to the beauty of each moment, finding joy in the simplest of things. It could be the warmth of the sun on your skin, the sound of leaves rustling in the wind, or the taste of your favorite food. By savoring these moments, we boost our mood and overall well-being. Mindfulness also helps us manage stress and anxiety, which are common happiness inhibitors. By being present, we can identify and address negative feelings before they escalate. Thus, mindfulness is a powerful tool in your happiness toolkit. The fifth and sixth steps to a happier life are pursuing personal goals and helping others. Let's talk about goals first. You see, having personal goals gives us direction. It's like having a roadmap for your life. It shows us where we want to go and what we need to do to get there. It's not just about the end goal though. The journey, the process, the pursuit itself is equally important. Each small step forward, each little achievement, brings a sense of satisfaction and boosts our mood. It's like laying down bricks one by one to create your own path to happiness. But here's the thing. 
Goals shouldn't be rigid. They should be flexible, adaptable. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes we need to adjust our plans. And that's okay. Changing your goals doesn't mean giving up. It means you're evolving, growing. It's a sign of progress, not failure. So don't be afraid to reassess, realign, and redesign your goals as you move forward. Now let's switch gears to the other crucial step, helping others. It's been said that the secret to living is giving, and science backs this up. Helping others, whether it's through volunteering, mentoring, or simply lending a listening ear, not only benefits those we help, but also enhances our own happiness. It creates a sense of purpose, a feeling of being connected to something bigger than ourselves. And it's a win-win situation. When we help others, we're also helping ourselves. Think about it. When you see the smile on someone's face because of something you did, doesn't it make you feel good? Doesn't it bring a sense of fulfillment, a feeling of joy? That's the power of giving. It creates a ripple effect of positivity, spreading happiness far and wide. So as we journey towards happiness, let's remember to set and pursue our goals, to adapt when necessary, and to extend our hands to help others. Because happiness isn't just about feeling good, it's about doing good too. So remember that pursuing goals and helping others are crucial steps in your journey to happiness. The seventh and eighth strategies to boost your happiness are fostering positivity and ensuring quality sleep. Let's start with positivity. Have you ever noticed how one negative thought can spiral into a whirlwind of pessimistic musings? It's easy to get caught in this cycle, but shifting your focus to the brighter side of life can make a world of difference. This is where the practice of positive thinking comes in. It's all about consciously choosing to focus on the good, even when things aren't going perfectly. When you cultivate a positive mindset, you're not just putting on rose-colored glasses. You're training your brain to see opportunities instead of obstacles, solutions instead of problems. This doesn't mean ignoring the negative, but rather acknowledging it and choosing to find the silver lining. It's a mindset that promotes resilience, reduces stress, and yes, boosts happiness. Now, let's talk about sleep. We've all experienced the grumpiness that comes with a night of poor sleep. But did you know that chronic sleep deprivation can lead to long-term mood disorders like depression and anxiety? Sleep is when your brain gets to rest and reset. It's like a nightly tune-up for your mental health. When you get quality sleep, you're more likely to wake up feeling refreshed, alert, and ready to tackle the day with a positive attitude. So how can we improve our sleep? It starts with setting a consistent sleep schedule and creating a calming bedtime routine. This might include activities like reading a book, listening to soft music, or practicing mindfulness meditation. It's also important to make your sleep environment as comfortable as possible. Think cool, dark, and quiet. Lastly, try to limit your intake of caffeine and avoid screens close to bedtime as these can interfere with your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. In essence, fostering positivity is about embracing the good in life, while quality sleep is about giving your brain the rest it needs to function optimally. Both practices are interconnected, and together they create a powerful recipe for happiness. Therefore, maintaining a positive outlook and getting good sleep are your final steps to a happier life. Let's wrap up what we've learned about the science of happiness. We've journeyed through the avenues of gratitude, the strength of relationships, the vitality of exercise, the grounding influence of mindfulness, the fulfillment of pursuing goals and helping others, the power of positivity, and the restorative magic of a good night's sleep. Each of these strategies is a key piece in the intricate puzzle of happiness. They're not merely suggestions or good habits, but scientifically proven ways to boost your mood and overall well-being. They are the tools we can use to build our happiness from the ground up every single day. Cultivating gratitude allows us to appreciate the small things. Fostering strong relationships fills our lives with love and companionship. Regular exercise keeps our bodies healthy and our minds clear. Practicing mindfulness brings us back to the present moment, while pursuing our goals and helping others gives our lives purpose. Adopting a positive mindset can transform our perception of the world and ensuring we sleep well replenishes our energy and keeps us balanced. Remember, these are not just one-time actions. They are habits to be incorporated into our daily lives. The science of happiness isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, but a lifelong journey of discovery and growth. Remember, happiness isn't just a feeling, it's a science. And with these eight strategies, you're well on your way to mastering it.